it's funny, I love lean, uh, huge advocate. Uh, it's, what I like about it is it's not just, it didn't just spring out of you know, thin air and, 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 and other principles too. It came out of experience. It's anecdotal. But it came out of experience. It came out of years and years of entrepreneurs trying to do one thing and another and like yeah. figuring out what worked and what didn't. Uh, and after going through a few startups, I had already sort of got my, my mind in the mode of, I'm not building anything again, right? After doing it so many times. I'm not building anything again until I know that there's a customer who will want to buy this, yeah. right? Uh, and even if you solve that problem, that doesn't, that doesn't mean you're done, right? Uh, I, I would say that the, the most common thing that I see early entrepreneurs uh, miss, or as I like to say, whistle past the graveyard, <laughs> is cost of acquisition versus yeah. lifetime value of customer. Yeah. Uh, and it's so alluring to have something that people are starting to use, right? It feels like you're there. Uh, but if you're paying 10 bucks to make five bucks, um, you're in trouble, right? Unless you have a, a really good uh, story about how you're gonna change that. And of course, you gotta do a lot of experimentation to figure that out, and it's not always obvious up front. But if you can't tell a credible story about how that problem would be solved, you should lose sleep, Absolutely. right? You may have a lot of ideas you wanna test, that's okay, but if you don't have some credible ideas that you think you can test that will solve that problem, and this hap often happens when entrepreneurs have an itch they wanna scratch, right? Uh, passion, right? That's, you know, we love to talk about passion entrepreneurs. And passion's great, but passion's also a blind spot. And it makes you not worry about some of the things I think you should worry about, uh, especially around the business side of things. So people who are passionate just about the, the particular problem that they want to solve, I think that's necessary, but it's not sufficient. Uh, if you don't have passion for what you're doing in some way, you should go get a job. And what I see is, it could, as yeah, yeah. we're talking about the idea, it's like I see so many founders and especially like, you know, technical, like they get so excited about this like idea, this creative thing. Yeah. And, and look, they, for, they don't necessarily And just because know. it's useful and it's awesome and you can, you have a room full of hundred people say, who would like to use this thing? And everybody puts their hand up it's like, oh, that feels like I should do this, yeah. right? And I say, no, I say, now go get a spreadsheet and figure out what's going to cost you to build it, what's going to cost you to sell it, and then see if you should do it, right? And a lot of, a lot of entrepreneurs um, do very little work on sizing their market uh, and, and at a level of detail that's not like, oh, we're, we're in a $12 billion market. Really? People are making choices to spend $12 billion on things just like you, but they're spending it other places? No, well, it turns out they spend like you know, $12 million yeah. on this category of thing, right? Yeah. So you're going after a $12 million market. What if you're really successful? What does that look like, right? Yeah.